accents in this etude which is very difficult and that's all i'm going to play to avoid embarrassing myself further hello youtube welcome back to another video it's been a while i've been extremely busy um had like a few days where i just did stuff the whole day and went to sleep and then got up and did the whole day stuff again so i've not had time for this stuff um i also had a couple really really bad chop days Spring is here, and with spring comes a little bit warmer weather and also humidity levels going down. So I had a couple days where I played really dehydrated and didn't quite realize it until after the fact, and I was like, oh, wow, I just smashed my face in with kind of no meat in the way, and yeah, really messed up my face. Bad idea, but I learned a lot of lessons from that, as I like to do. And I'm way better now than I was even before the bad chop days. So it works out in the end. Um, it just sucks when that happens right in the middle of a very busy time. So that happened. Um, that's a little bit of an update. I also stripped the lacquer off of my LT42TG. Just the bell, not the rest of it so much on purpose anyway. And it kind of looks the same because, of course, the black lacquer, which is still on the inside of the bell, is clear. So... Yeah, there's kind of a difference. I like how it looks better without the lacquer because it'll slowly patina and I'll get that really cool look. And honestly, I think it plays and sounds a little bit better than it did. So a little bit of a neat effect there. Actually kind of enjoying this horn, at least today. I just came back to it for the first time in, I don't know, like three weeks. And it feels pretty good. So let's put that away. Uh, I also casually got a uh, green hoe. Bass trombone, yeah, I know, just another green hoe, right? Actually, this is not mine. I'm selling it for a friend. This is a green hoe GC5Y. The C standing for con style, Y standing for yellow bell. So we've got bronze slash red, uh, red brass outer tubes, nickel crook, wide slide. This is not narrow like every single con ever. Green hoe valves with the red brass valve section, and a yellow two-piece bell, unsartered bead, and the con taper. And it's pretty awesome. I've been playing it a bunch last couple days. Finally got some time on it. Um, it's basically brand new. My friend did not play it very much. And it's really, really cool. It's just a different sound. It's a really big, chunky sound, but it is a different sound than my box. And it's very satisfying to play. <clears throat> I'm probably not going to buy it for my friend, but maybe one of you will. Hit me up if you want to. Um, and I'll be making a video in more detail about this very fancy, very nice green hoe. I also got on that Shires Trubor base, traded the Trubors out, wing, for axial valves. Ta da! Got some Shires axials for it, cleaned them up, put them on, and that became one of the best bases I've ever had. That green hoe. And that Shires, which is not here, talk about that in a second, are two of the best bases I've ever had through my collection. Um, I feel really lucky to have like three of them all at the same time. Plus, of course, the final boss bass term on the 50K3 with the gold large bell. And I have my Yamaha 613. And I just sold my Yamaha 613H. So I had like six or seven bases at the same time which is so many i also have my buyers which is in a gig bag at the moment but that shires and this green hoe are two of the best bass hormones i've ever had for more than like a couple days they're insanely good the shires once the axles went on is almost good enough to tempt me away from my monster base but i did play my monster base back to back with the green hoe and the Shires, and honestly, Monster Bass wins out. It sounds a little bit better, and it's not really any harder to play. And in some ways, I like how it plays better. So I feel very, very lucky to have these amazing basses come through um, on their way to being sold to random people. And my horn that I had made for me is still the better one. I'm sure there's something better out there, but I haven't found it yet. And like I said, the Shires is out right now. I basically 
got that Shires to sell to a friend. He's looking for a bass. And uh, pretty sure he's going to buy it because he played it a bunch. We were playing duets, and he's like, wow, I think I could get used to this. <laughs> it is really, really good. And if I don't get it back and make a video about it, I will be a little bit sad, but also he'll end up with a really good bass drum on. Um, like I said, the Green Hill is for sale if you're into like very fancy new instruments. And I also have my Con 6H for sale. It's in a case somewhere, and I forgot that I owned it. So I should probably sell it at some point. Otherwise, I have some cool stuff on the horizon. Um, I have so many video ideas. I have like four scripts open right now that I just have not made into videos. I might make one tomorrow. Other than that, not much to say. Uh, if you have cool video ideas, let me know. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.